Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and this is Overwatch and we're going to talk about Reaper. I'm going to give you some awesome tips and advice on how to play this bad boy. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, what the hell is Reaper? Well, Reaper is extreme damage at close range. And I mean close range. Do not engage at medium range. Do not even engage at short range. It has to be point blank with Reaper if you want results. Now... Let's just go over his skill subset. So what he's rolling with, he does have a teleport on his E, which you're about to see. I'm going to teleport over that gap there. It makes sense to do this because I don't want to be out in the open. Because I literally cannot reply to anything which could potentially happen to me. But look at Hanzo. Oh, he was in a nice little sniper position. I made a mess of him. And by the way, we're on the third point on Ilios, which is a control point map. Map selection with Reaper does play a point. You can't run around on maps where there's a lot of open space and hope to do work. You have to stick to the shadows, yeah? This is why Reaper's got a teleport, so he can get across the open spaces and get into positions where he's, he, he can use his strength, which is close combat. You want to take people on at point-blank range all the time. I mean, you've just seen me run through an area there and wipe those guys out. Lucio and Hanzo there. They've got no chance against me. The only one you've got to worry about, really, in point-blank range is... Well, I guess there's two. Roadhog can give you a problem. If Roadhog hooks you in and then hits you, he can do damage to you and maybe kill you, yeah? However, if you use your left shift, which I'm about to do now, look at that. Timing, ladies and gentlemen. He can't do nothing to me. His hook's on cooldown. He can't crowd control me anymore. And I can just absolutely rinse the guy, which is beautiful. The other one, though, is McCree. You've got to be careful of McCree, because if McCree gets you with his flashbang and then right-clicks on you, you're probably going to die. So you've got to be careful of that. But always stick to the shadows. Always stay in the close confines of, of, of well, of close areas. English is hard for me sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So what I've been doing is I'm running around all these corners. I'm using my teleport to get me across the places where I don't want to be. Like, I, I'm behind them effectively here. And I'm just going to keep going behind them. And I'm going to keep making a mess of them. They don't expect me to be behind them. You have the element of surprise when you're Reaper. You can just teleport behind them, provided they don't see you. Use cover, hug the cover, and keep going. This is a particularly bad teleport, though. I didn't want to teleport there. I actually screwed that up. That could have been bad for me because Reaper's very vulnerable when he's teleporting. Soldier and Lucio might have caught wind of me there and killed me. This is bad, though, what happens here. I know Soldier's on top of me, and I'm like, right, okay, Soldier's going to get me. Shit. I'm just going to try and ulti and kill him. But he just killed me, so I wasted my ultimate there. That's bad. Reaper's ultimate is a massive short-range 360 AoE, which will just kill pretty much everybody. You will see me use it correctly uh, in a jiffy, but that was not the way to use it. And also, everybody, and I need to take heed of this advice. And like I say, I do leave in my bad plays in these videos. I don't cut them and just make them look like I'm, I'm an amazing godlike player, because I'm not. But never use your ultimate when you're about to die. I still do this. I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to die, so I use my ultimate. But your ultimate is still there, even when you die and come back. So you've got to be a bit clever with it. Especially with Reapers, because it can change the game. And it's re like really easy to use. So I'm teleporting across this gap. I know they're on the point. So I want to get in on the point, and I want to do work on them. I've come in behind. They don't know. There's a Reaper. There's a Reinhardt. Great targets for me. My ulti pops. I killed Reinhardt. Killing all the rest of them. It's a three-player multi-kill. It's beautiful. Which, by the way, it's pretty easy to get multi-kills with Reaper. <laughs> now I'm going to teleport over there and see if I can cut anybody off who's coming in to reinforce. But the game ends. This has only been a short video, but it shows you what Reaper is about. You engage at close range. Never, I mean, at point-blank range. Never, 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 never engage at short range or even long range. Use your left shift to get out of crappy situations. It makes you invincible. You cannot fire, but you move slightly faster. When you kill people, or people die, they drop health globes you can pick up which will heal you. That's a Reaper-specific class ability. Uh, and your E is your teleport, which you need to use to circumnavigate open space. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Reaper. He is very simple. I recommend new players play Reaper, but remember, you've got to engage at close range. And what you're about to see now is quite embarrassing. Follow me on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, at Unit Lost Gaming. Like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next time. And yeah, this don't do this. So this is what happens when you engage at long range get sent down a hole. 